Hey, how you doing? Today we are going to go over a composting toilet with urine diverter that we built for this outhouse. So this is going to be the business end bucket, the one that catches the solid waste. So we've got to cut a little half moon out of it here to fit the funnel, you'll see. we got to drill a hole here to uh, align the bucket as we set it in place. You'll see all that here in a second. Gonna scrape off any rough edges. There's our bag, composting bag's gonna be resting on this and we don't want it to tear. Alright, now this is gonna, you'll see what this is for. It's gonna align this bucket so that this is lined up with the funnel. So when you take the bucket out and put it back in, it always goes back into the correct position. This is just a quarter inch hardware bolt, standard bolt. I'm gonna put it in from the inside out with a large area washer so we don't crack that plastic. Another washer on the outside, then like a bushing, and then another washer. I don't have any self-locking nuts, so I'm gonna just double double nut this here. Jam these two nuts together so it doesn't back off. It shouldn't have any load on it or force in, at any time in its normal use. We've got a full table here, bench, a uh, cover, toilet seat. We went with a uh, soft close because we had an extra one laying around. Alright, so here's the uh, business end. This is a large funnel that's about a 8 or 10 inch diameter. And then uh, we've got a regular old like Home, Home Depot style 5 gallon bucket back there. So we'll open this up and show you what's going on. So this all opens up for access. We've got a little chain over here that you can hook that on to hold the seat up. Alright, so this is a pretty good size funnel. And uh, you might have to do, if you were to copy this exact system, you'd probably have to like adjust things here and there because every funnel you buy is not going to be the exact same size and shape. So this one just happened to have a tab on it. So I was able to attach it to the bottom of the table. So this is the bucket. Comes out of there. So this is the uh, composting bag. It's just slid over there and it's held in place with a bungee. See here on the front of the bucket that's that bolt we put in earlier and we've got the cutout that is designed to fit just enough to fit around that funnel. All right, so when you're uh, putting a new bag in, getting this thing ready to go for the next use, scrape it over. Doesn't have to go too far. And you do want this bag to be able to sit on the bottom of the bucket. You don't want it hanging when it's heavy full of composting and everything. You don't want to be hanging on these sharp corners, maybe ripping. So let's make sure it's resting firmly on the bottom. And then just slide your bungee on here. 
And you don't need a real strong bungee or a real long one. Ideally, one just like this one here where it just, just barely long enough. Make sure the bag is looped under the bungee. And double check that it's hitting the bottom. All right, in here we have another bottom piece of one of those buckets that I cut the bottom off. This is the regular top. But I cut the bottom off so this bucket would always go in and be in the correct position with relation to the seat. So it's got the, these brackets down there. Just little cheap brackets from Home Depot that hold it to the bottom. All right, so we slide it, get it started, start sliding it in, line that bolt up right there, that slot. That's, that's another thing you'll have to cut. You'll have to cut that slot in your, this bucket here. All right, so you got your bag in there. Everything's lined up. Keep bungee cords on. Funnel's ready to go. All right, so we'll release our chain out of here. And we start to lower this down. You see that hits right there. So it's a good idea to push this in just a little bit so it clears. Everything is in place. Now that foam down there drains currently into this bowl. And you just take the bowl out when you're done right now and uh, throw it out in the in the bushes. So a uh, long-term plan is to get rid of this bucket. And this is a PVC which has the flared end on it for receiving another piece. So this is wider and it just happens to be the perfect width to fit in that bucket, in that uh, funnel spout. So this is going to be mounted underneath here in uh, direct alignment with the funnel. So when you lower the seat, the funnel goes right in here. And then it'll be uh, piped overboard out into the out into the wild out there. Now, as far as operation, there are a wide variety of things that are used for composting material. Sawdust, ash, pine chips. Uh, they even I think they even make some stuff specifically for that purpose to absorb the moisture out of the waste. You can uh, you can look on YouTube or online and do a search and you'll see there's uh, tons of different things that you can use and they all have varying degrees of effectiveness or moisture control or um, ease of use and things like that and price of course. Well we have a wood burning stove that we use all winter so we generate a lot of ash and ash was one of the things that people use I don't think it was the number one use, but since we have it, that's what we use. It's been working fine. So when our stove gets full of ash, I bring it down here and bucket and dump it in here. So what we do, and we're gonna use the uh, operation here. You take a, a good size scoop or so and pour that in the bag in the bucket before you start. Then you go ahead and do your business and then when you're done another scoop on top of that. And two scoops if they're you do them little scoops but the, you want enough to cover it. Now that will suck all the moisture out of your uh, deposit in there <laughs> and and that's what uh, keeps the, the flies and the stink away. So that'll suck all the moisture out and you uh, empty the urine outside with the bucket. And since you're not mixing the urine with the uh, the other part, you're not getting that uh, outhouse smell, or the you know porta potty smell. You're not getting any of that stuff. So it's uh, almost it's smell free. And you can uh, use that bag several times if you're anticipating a lot of use. But since we only use it once a month or something we go ahead and pull the bag out every time take it up throw it in the dumpster it's just like 
throwing away a dirty diaper. And uh, then the uh, put a new bag on, it's ready for the next time. Also keep some important amenities in here. Of course, everybody knows what that is. <laughs> and keep a bag or two of these in here to clean yourself up afterwards. If things get really nasty in here, we've got this, or we can spray it down if there's, you know, bugs or something in here, or a mess. And then I've got a roll, whole roll of the hunt. He's coming off. A package of three of these, and each one of these rolls is a hundred bags. So I don't know if I'll ever have to buy bags again. I got three hundred bags. So that is the operation. I think I've covered everything as far as the facility here. We've got clear Lexan roof. Lots of leaves and stuff on it right now. Next rainstorm will clear all that off. We got plans eventually to possibly uh, panel this in here. I've got some leftover external siding, the hardy plank stuff. And I think I have enough to panel this whole thing in here. That'll make it look a little nicer, easier to clean and keep clean, and also easier to notice if there's been any critters in here. So when you're in use, if you're afraid of uh, somebody coming by and interrupting you, you can close the door. And we've got a little window right here. And some ventilation along with that vent up there. Keeps it from getting too hot here in the summer and very nice in the winter time. So that's pretty much. We got a lot of space between the door and the bench. So a lot of room here to you know, you're not crowded. You don't have your face right in the door. Yeah, we've got a short little video of us building this outhouse. If you're interested, just head over to our channel, or I'll put a link in the description. You can uh, click on that when you're done here and go see how this thing was built. If you have any questions about this operation? Certainly uh, put those in the comments. And if you want to give any uh, any ideas to other people that might be making one of these that might be better than what we did here, but feel free to put those in the comments too. So there you go. Fully self-contained. And this uh, outhouse was built with all reclaimed or leftover material from other projects. I had a big shed that was starting to fall apart so I took it apart piece by piece and got all this plywood and the OSB and the, all these studs. They all came from that. I had to buy the Lexan roof. I had to buy the uh, 2x8s for the door and uh, the 4x4s that were the door frame and everything else even had the flooring left over from another project. Well we really appreciate you coming by the channel. We've got a full cabin build video and the full video on building this outhouse on our channel so stop by and check those out also okay appreciate it again thanks a lot and we'll see you next time